weed guy. It's Kush Cup time. We gotta go kick it up to the studio. We're gonna go check out the Willie Show. It's the Rock 101 Morning Show. They're presenting the Kush Cup and the Trailer Park Boys Swear Net, the movie.com. Go check out all that website. It's the premiere just for the Kush Cup judges. So I'm gonna go get baked on my uh, Vit Boom and uh, get, do an interview. Mark Emery, my buddy, I got him to call into the show. So uh, he's gonna be talking there too. So it's a beautiful morning. Let's go check it out. Let's go see Willie. just came in and sat down and so did the smell. Uh, his name is Mark Cloakeed and he's the uh, founder of the Kush Cup. What the hell is the Kush Cup? Well, we're going to find out in a couple minutes time. Welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me. Mr. Mark <laughs> Cloakeed. Okay, now here's the deal. You've been here several times before. It's just I haven't been here before. Yeah, you got to get with the program now, bud. Okay. Uh, Elise says you're going to be an awful lot of fun, but you're going to bring in giant bags of stuff. Oh yeah, right here. So, now, <laughs> now listen, I don't smoke any of this stuff. Oh, so, you like edibles? That's so good to know. You, have you metabolize it better. It's more healthier that way. You got to tell me what is the? Uh, did you come up with the Kush Cup? Is that like your design, your baby? Well, there's been other cups before around the world, like the Amsterdam one, and uh, so I took it upon myself after Michelle Rainey passed away. She used to do the Toker's Bowl in Vancouver. Right. So uh, and Mark Emery and them said it was okay for me to do it, and I took the reins, and I've done it three years now. It's my third year. So, so tell um, me what the Kush Cup is. It's a three-day festival with multiple different acts, and uh, we judge the finest cannabis in Canada, and uh, people enter their strains in and uh, people get to test it and uh, come up with their best string. Okay, listen Mark, I'm a little fuzzy on, because I don't do it, I don't have to worry about it. What's the law now regarding marijuana? Well, basically, if you have a medical condition, then you have the right to use cannabis based on diagnosis. So there's a federal program now and there's actually LPs, licensed producers, um, that are like corporately traded companies that are selling cannabis to patients that are approved by a doctor. Um, in the city of Vancouver, we have uh, dispensaries based on diagnosis that people can go and access. Um, myself, I have iMedicate. It's a non-profit society, and uh, so you sign up. So that's the name of your company is iMedicate. It's a iMedicate is a yeah. dispensary that is a non-profit society. We purchase cannabis off of federally exempt patients that grow for themselves, and uh, in turn mark it up one to three dollars. And that's how the patients get affordable cannabis, and yeah, that's how we operate. Right, you're not the guy running the uh, vending machine that you can buy cannabis out of, are you? No, I like to have one-to-one -one with uh, my patients so they get, <laughs> you know, good expertise on what strain works best for them. So the Kush Cup, which is this weekend, right? Yeah, this uh, weekend. Okay, where, 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 where are we? Well, uh, we're doing Naughty by Nature, and it's at the Harbor Center, and we're going to do Among the Betrayed at the Chapel. We're also doing a boat cruise, and then on Monday we're going to have the Trailer Park Boys Swear Net the Movie dot com. <laughs> Yeah. We got a new movie coming out, so for it. yeah, I'll be flying out to Toronto and then coming back on Thursday uh, and doing the premiere there in Toronto and then coming back and the following Monday we get to do it here in Vancouver. Okay, and so you can only get tickets be by being a Kush Cup judge or winning it on the radio station. So how, how, to the how, premiere. How do you mean? Uh, we're going to be giving away tickets on Rock 101 and the Fox. Yeah, so. no, I mean, so can you purchase tickets? Oh, yeah, yeah. You go to kush.ca and you can purchase tickets to become a judge. Uh, it's 250 bucks. So, so you so have to become a judge? Uh, in order to, to go to the whole three-day weekend. If you right. want to go to the concerts, you can go to individual con concerts. So uh, Among the Betrayed, it's like 20 bucks, or uh, Naughty by Nature is even 20 bucks. So I've made it affordable for people that just want to do the individual event. Okay. But uh, the whole three-day weekend's 250 bucks. That's including the judging, the boat cruise, VIP access to everything and the exclusive premiere of the SwearNet movie, which is going to be a blast on money on Monday at the Scotiabank Theatre. Okay, so then let me ask you this. Uh, as a judge, what are my responsibilities? <laughs> <laughs> to make it through the three days. <laughs> 
very good, very good. Uh, okay, did you? So, Trailer Park Boys, you've been hanging out with them. Did you see their? Did you see their movie? They. Uh... Of course, yeah, yeah. And uh, the new one's just going to be just as funny. They they now own themselves, so they got SwearNet, which is like basically their own website. They can put all their own, all their own content on. Yeah. So um, uh, it's basically going to be balls out. Okay, so you uh, you mentioned Mark Emery, and I thought that they they brought up an interesting uh, point in the movie, the Trailer Park Boys movie, which was when Ricky is arguing. Uh, 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 I forget what the hell he's talking to, but he's arguing. If you make it legal, what happens to all the people you've charged with possession of marijuana, smoking marijuana, selling marijuana? Does that all get reversed, all of those decisions? I think they should get like a Medal of Honor, too, for taking one for the team, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Have you talked to Mark Emery, like, uh, recently? Uh, yeah, and uh, he's going to be coming back on Sunday. We're having a huge party for him here in Vancouver, so yeah. everyone's welcome to attend. And, uh, yeah, the guy's a hero. He, um, you know, selling cannabis seeds. Marijuana's been proven to actually cure cancer, help kids with seizures, and uh, it's time for people like that to be... Um, you know, given the Medal of Honor they deserve. I mean, the guy really did four years for selling seeds, and there's been zero deaths from cannabis and thousands of years of use, so. Yeah, I thought, well, if you're going to argue that the guy was, you know, the stuff, the product that he sells is detrimental to society, you'd have a better argument with cigarettes, I'd say, to start, or liquor, which the government makes a killing on. Both well, of those. It is products. ironic that the, the state that he got extradited to, Washington, is selling cannabis <laughs> now. They're so, one of the first, know? right? Exactly. Does, well, does he feel like he... Well, I'll ask him when I get a chance to talk to him, but he must feel like he's come out into a dream. The state that he was charged and convicted in is now the first state to... Sell dope openly, right? Yeah, and literally, I think his wife's a huge political power now, running for the Liberals. So, and uh, I think that Trudeau might actually legalize it. So, and I think people my age, the echo of the baby boomers, are actually going to vote this coming election. So, I think it's going to be an interesting climate in Canada. What's my age? How old are you? I am thirty-two. Okay. So, I'm the echo of your. My boys. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the movie Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels? Of course, of okay. course, yeah. Did, any correlation to the three guys that are holed up there? They're just the casual, cool, dope, growing dudes. Uh, just you know, all types of people come to the event. So it's the best thing about it is uh, people that use cannabis are from all walks of life. You got lawyers, doctors, and uh, average Joes like myself. Okay, so one last time, where do I uh, where do I hit? Kush.ca, everything's on there. Spell Kush for me. K U S H dot C A. You sound like a dope smoker when you were spelling it out for me. Hang on. It's been you asked. That's Mark Cloakey. Thank you very much for Thanks coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, what was the point you mentioned on there that uh, cannabis can cure cancer? Um, not, cure, not cure cancer. Well, no. It, it can kill the pain. It actually can be more than that. My grandma is a walking, breathing uh, testament to that. She's been battling skin cancer since before I was born. Every couple of years, it comes back and still goes through chemo and surgeries and everything, and it almost kills her every time. Uh, about three years ago, uh, it started coming back again, and we made a weed oil out of some shake, a uh, little bit of internet research, some uh, canola oil, and a coffee pot, and it actually removed the skin cancer. And that was what Mandy was talking about downstairs. Yeah, we have right? a sales lady downstairs who was getting uh, THC oil or whatever, and she said the same thing. Like, it, yeah. she could feel it. and like, but It wasn't great. even, uh, like, no internal use, just literally yeah. rubbing it on the surface. Yeah, that, Josh, that's, ex that's exactly what, uh, there's a woman downstairs had cancer on her nose, and that's exactly the treatment she was using. Yeah, so it actually can well, it doesn't get rid of it completely, but I mean, either it's chemo, yeah, so it's still cancer. into remission, and it does work for that. It's a treatment. It is. All right. Um, appreciate it, Josh. Right on. Have a good day. Okay. <coughs> Before I go to bed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, one more time? There's a new strain of herb out, and it's called 1822. After you smoke it, you don't know, want to call 911 twice. It's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, one other thing. You know that guy is a man. I'm not a song guy. I, I know what the song is. It's called Death Song by Shazam. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're just full of it today. <laughs> hey, at least I'm still in, would you? Yeah, I think you've been on the. Uh, I think you've been on the 1822 uh, this morning, not last hey, night. Dude, you got that right, dude. It was a function. <laughs> All right, now I got to roll.
Okay, Thanks for the conversation. Yeah, going yeah on. very nice. Good. Very interesting. Okay, Mark Cloakheed is uh, kicking around still. He's got the Kush Cup, uh, which is uh, upcoming, which is the uh, uh, cannabis or marijuana cup. Who's got the best? Hey, where does the best come from, by the way? From Vancouver. <laughs> Vancouver. That's what I thought. Yeah. Do they come from across Canada? Do people come from across Canada? Oh, yeah, all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. <laughs> I just think there's some poor bastard from the prairies going, I'm going to win this year. I'm going to win this year. <laughs> they have a cup, too, in Saskatchewan. Well, the prairie like, cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do they have September. a guy who uh, lights his head on fire every time they... Uh, uh, that's, yeah, <laughs> the Rough Riders. Okay, so Mark Emery is waiting for us to phone him. He's yes. in a hotel in Toronto. Mark Emery, the uh, Prince of going to give him a phone call. We talk to him in a couple of minutes' time. Wow, that was super awesome. Thanks, Rock 101, Willie and Elise. I had a super awesome time. Thank you for supporting Legalization and Mark Emery. Yeah!